Walk on the Lilo, a sit like in Toronto City. I'm 2,000 kilometers away, but friends, you look welcome so to the Pretend Friends yes, Podcast. You we are here once again. Don't Joining us today is Mark. Hello, everyone. Beloved friend of the pod, Mark, for his second time. The Mark Mark Strikes Back. (laughs) Mark, Mark, why don't you say hello? The Mark Strikes Back. What have you been up to recently? I've been making music, and I just used generative AI to make a nice album cover. It took like 30 tries, Mm. and I did a lot of audio engineering. You took that food right out of those artists' mouths, eh? Wow. So so, so you didn't didn't hear nothing from that last episode you were on, sunk in or anything. You were just No, he was pro AI. No, yeah, he said he he was going to do exactly what he did. Right, right, right. So so, so none of our counter arguments, you were just like, (laughs) Mark Mark has conviction. $20 is a... Yeah. Yeah. Can't argue with twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but you you paid for the eight. They went the AIR. Okay, damn, <laughs> you paid twenty dollars to make the AIR, which like I'm not saying an artist could have made that for twenty dollars, but they could have made something. I just don't know. It would have been what I wanted, though. That's no, true. no. I mean, like, good for you. <laughs> I paid. It, no, I, pay, I paid an artist one time to make an ex girlfriend. Well, a girlfriend at the time. Look, yeah, because that uh, okay. All like things considered, that is dog. like wait, that's wait, like wait, time out, time out. Wait, what did you? What? I, I paid. I paid someone on Reddit to to draw my girlfriend's dog as a, like a present. That's cute. That's nice. Yeah, that's pretty cute. And, was it uh, nice? It, was it, cost me, like, it was. It was good. It was a good painting. It took. It took a couple revisions, and they they did the revisions free of charge. And it was only for all the work they put into it. I paid eighty bucks. I was like, wow, this is a pretty good deal. I think. Mm. In, I think commissions like that are a great use case for social media. That's yeah. like, that's yeah. like Twitter is a lot. Yeah. That's like a good place for that. You could have um, read it. You're like, I have eighty dollars, and a bunch of people are like, please, yeah, hire exactly. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the I will try your talk. You're willing to pay at all though, because I feel like a lot of artists complain about people who always want free commissions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, it was like, fair. it helped too that it was like, it was a gift. So I was like, wow, this is what I'm going to spend the money on. But I still think so that, like, yeah, like all things considered, like a individual, like an indie artist or an independent artist like Mark uh, using AI for this, for a single is like yeah. on the more benign side mm-hmm. of oh, things. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would not, I would not like pay. <laughs> In terms of AI use cases, I wouldn't you know, pay $80 for someone to edit. A clip of our podcast, for example. I yeah. I do know a lot of people who would get mad though uh, at hearing something like that, and they always have like that misdirected anger. It's like yeah. you're picking a <laughs> fight with the wrong people. You're like, "Damn you, Mark! How dare you pay twenty dollars to use AI? Yeah, you're a starving artist. Like, no, he's not starving. I am the right. artist. It's, yeah. it's like Sony you and your, shit. Can you angle your mic like the other way, away from Shane? I like this way. Yeah, yeah. So you don't, you don't, you don't, don't want to in front of it. Should I angle be, away? It'll still pick you up. Yeah, Likewise. Yeah. Just okay. angle it like perfectly in the middle of Nathan and Mark. Anyway. Anyway. You know what's a you know what else is a good use case of social media? Uh, you can like commission people to do like to draw your furry character, like if you have a fur so fursona. Oh yeah, you can have them draw it, like in, in like uh, in erotic situations. For yeah. free? Yeah. those people make a ton of money. Oh, not for free. They could be like no, dick no. riding Jabba the Hutt. What's your what's yeah. your what's your <laughs> furry costume? What's your fur, furry character, Nathan? Ah oh, man, you know it's been a while since I've I've delved in, but I'd like to think I, I'd be like a lion or something cool. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I think I would be like, I want, I want like a panda of some sort. They make a yeah, lot. You're, dude, you're, not, like, you're not thick enough. Though. It's real. Like I like because yeah. obviously like I'm way too online. So like I dive into <laughs> these things. And it's like do you, like people like pay these artists like hundreds and hundreds of dollars to like draw themselves having sex as a their furry <laughs> These furry people well, good. they get of, work. Yeah, I mean that's another thing yeah. too, right? Like a lot of artists make fun of that too, where it's like the only commissions they get are of. Exactly what Nathan is talking about. Yeah, like, yeah. So their, their job, they're like, I want to be an artist, and their job just turns into like drawing like wolves having sex. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> good, good. I mean, at least you're making some money. It's always there. there. Yeah, it's yeah. always there if you Most, need it. Yeah, it's not a viable career path. Whatever. Yeah, it's still better than. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, but whatever. like, where uh, these furries have a lot of money because those suits cost like thousands of dollars too. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, they're all, they're all, they're all, um, you know, there's a lot of money in. Otherwise the they just draw it in themselves and they do it poorly. And then now you just have bad. shitty art in the world. Hmm. Yeah. Needlessly. And it's like harder to jerk <laughs> off. To. So I feel like yeah, I, I, that, to that's <laughs> something we should do an investigation yeah. into how, how impacted is the erotic furry art community by AI? Hmm. Like, uh, I mean, are Ooh. these guys really is, probably can pretty you use bad? AI? So uh, the AI, I had bikini ladies on my, but okay, the picture, <laughs> the picture is of me DJing on a mega yacht with bikini clad ladies and helicopters and a bunch of boats around it. And I was like, make some of the bikini ladies twerk. And it was like <laughs> against our policy. We Jacob, will not edit, draw that. Edit this in. Make yeah. sure you edit this yeah, in. Keep yeah, going. Yeah, I'll put, Keep I'll going put the Have you seen it, Nathan? 
I have not seen Mark, it. Mark, show, show. Yeah, you're gonna have to put that up. Oh yeah, because Nathan engine. doesn't have Instagram. Where's my phone? So, uh, Incredible. He's uh, he's uh, off Instagram. I might be able to do it. But on okay, Twitter, on Twitter, also on uh, 4chan sometimes. Oh really? Whoa. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think yeah, the issue they come so you're into. You surprised? Yeah, man. It's terms I of just, service. I just didn't know. It's against the terms of service to use AI to. I mean, there there has yes. to be a way to break it. Because they made there. the Taylor Swift naked at the football game one. Oh, and, I remember that. And then they people, did. yeah, they really locked that shit down. You know, I hate to I hate to report. I know we talked about Taylor Swift previously on the podcast. My Oh, wow. wow. This is incredible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the people don't look real, dude. Come on now. Yeah, you definitely. Yeah, it's obvious. But. Yeah. But yeah, I thought they looked like Barbie dolls, kind of, and I thought that was actually kind of cool. This is incredible. Oh, thank you. <laughs> incredible. Hey, what about the naked Taylor Swift or whatever? Oh, um, we'll put it on the show. Oh, wait. We, it's not It's not going to come out yet, though. Never mind. Sorry. July 4th, the good one, heals off the teak. Nice. But, I can, but can I put the art on? Yeah, sure. Yeah, right, cool. definitely put the art on. Of course. No, uh, I was going to say, I know we've talked about Taylor Swift previously, but my wife has been playing uh, dead whatever. Poets. Po- whatever. Society. There's been a, there, you know what? There's what is, a couple. <laughs> no, that's a movie, right? Yeah, <laughs> that would be a better the, 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 to- the Tortured Poet Society. Yeah, yeah, yeah something yeah. like that. Um, TTP. It, that's it, a Robin Williams movie. Fuck And me. you know, like she, she always plays it in the bath. Yeah. Um, while I like I'm my my uh, my bed is very close to the bathroom. Is it because it's, it's easy very to, soothing? Is it is it because it's easy to commit suicide? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like it, like there's not a lot to it, but like it's it's very like soothing and like the melodies are fine. Um, it's yeah. not something I've listened to on my own, but it's like I get it. I'm sure whatever. it's fine. I mean, I used to like Taylor Swift. I think she has about it's three fine. to four bangers on the thirty song album. So bangers? like a, a tenth. It's like a actual songs it's that pretty I low like. KDR. Yeah, Honestly. and then the rest of it is very cringe. Yeah, there's, aren't there like 38 songs on that album? I mean, that's what I mean. I hope there's five that are good. If you do 30 songs, no. Or whatever. The thing is, it's every single one of the songs on that album sounds exactly the same. Like, there's no sonic difference between all. It's all that's just been my like very recently. basic, very soothing. It's not. It's not <laughs> bad. That's what I'm saying. It's not offensively bad. Um, I don't mind listening to it as I like drift off into sleep. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you just have dreams about like ex girlfriends and stuff. Uh, some, of the, some of the lyrics are it's it's like she's it, like I'm gonna fucking. I mean, kill. I guess that's why people like her, but it does sound like something a fourteen year old would write. They are not? unnervingly juvenile. Yeah, at times. It's very just like, juvenile. Whoa. I mean, it's the like, same kind it's of. It's a, but well, wait, how old like, are you? How old are you? Like, yeah, wait, what? Wait, if you stick around that long, this is wait, what how old? Are you? Like, and then like, I have fans who like I have fans. I have friends who are fans. <laughs> Like big fans who are like my age hey, or older. <laughs> Hi. And they're like, I'm just like, wait, 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 how old are you? Like, yeah. yeah. Just like, I don't know. I mean, uh, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. You know, way to go. Again, it was but like, like that's just what that's just what happened. Whatever. Like like Drake is like what, 35 now? And he's dude, Drake still is oh speaking of Drake, life. we haven't even talked about this. That what? dude is like so done. What bro. happened? Wait, what happened? Oh, yeah, this right, past right. week on Juneteenth, Kendrick Lamar uh held oh, a concert yeah. in LA called the um Pop Out and Show Tour. Kendrick and Friends is what it's called, yeah. right? Wow. So Kendrick Lamar, then I forget where, but I think it was like in Inglewood. It was at it was at that it was like in Inglewood, I think. It might have been where the Rams play, but mm-hmm. whatever. Like some stadium packed. Yeah. And he brought out like it was just a parade of like West Coast artists just like popping off and performing like little mini sets. So like Tyler Creator was there. Oh, cool. Dr. And what's Dre. that guy? Stephen Lacey. Is that a dude? Is that a person That's name? A guy. Dr. Yeah. Dre briefly showed up and then like uh, YG performed and shit. What? And then Kendra came out and performed. And he opened up with Euphoria, some one of the Drake diss tracks. And nice. it was fucking sick. And like it was a really good performance, like a live performance. And then they played Not Like Us. So, you know, the, the last, the most recent one that's super yeah. popular. Five times in a row, ah. and every other artist came up and they're just like partying and turning up. And like Russell Westbrook, who's an NBA player, showed up, and Demar Derozan also showed up, and they're just everyone's just partying on stage, just shitting on Drake. It was pretty fucking That's crazy, incredible. dude. How will Drake like, respond? I think can't. I feel like that was like for like like culturally speaking, I feel like it's just like over like once and for all. Like no, Drake no, is like no. vanquished I, to I the saw, shadow I, realm. Basically, I saw, he's like, vanquished to the shadow realm. And the shadow realm is Toronto, but I have faith <laughs> in the Canadians. No, I, I, a couple weeks ago, <laughs> come on, Canada. Canada. There's always going to be the bottom feeders who just love staying at the bo- at the top of the bell curve. Ironically enough, so yeah, like there's going to be an audience for Drake in perpetuity. But I feel like in terms of like his prestige as like an artist, 
I mean, you know that was saying? always pretty low. It was always questioned, but now I feel like unequivocally it's just been like, yeah. like so, I don't know if there's so ever like, been like a public leak. I don't know. Mark, have you been keeping up with this? You've, you've kept up with this, right? Like, what is your what is your take on the on what's happened to Drake's image? I think it's going to be tough for him to get any more collabs. He already has people write his music for him. His beats are fire because he has someone make them for him. Yeah. His I, delivery is still some of the best in terms of being able to rap, but his originality is zero. And without anyone right. else to help him, it's going to really tank his fucking career. Yeah. I mean, I think he knows how to rap too, but it's like clearly inauthentic. I mean, duh. But, but that's the thing. It. It's just like he's never, it, it, authenticity with Drake has right. never really been like, yeah. who cares? He's just like, been, like, like, he well, always, no, he's always you been think that because you're a, um, a, um, uh, discerning, like, person who takes yeah. a critical eye to yeah. things uh, right <laughs> so the, the fact of the matter is like that's like not everyone thought that way yeah a lot of people mm-hmm. this kendrick thing is uh, like open their eyes it really of. did yeah wow, for really? a lot of people yeah because like mm-hmm. there's always been people like us or me the person i've just been like a hater since day one i yeah. don't know because i feel like i don't know i feel like if you're not someone who's like that you can tell when someone's like that like pretty easily yeah. right Typically i just speaking. think it's great that he got a, a brazilian booty lift i think that's empowering <laughs> BBL, Drizzy. dude wait. i can't get over it dude, okay. I, wait have you guys heard that song that drake was on recently Yes, yeah. Is it, uh, Wang is it, Wang is it called Wang Wang Delilah? Have you heard it? <laughs> yeah. I'm a, have you heard it? It's really no, bad. I haven't yeah. heard have it. you heard, heard it? it? I'm gonna play it. We want it. Should we, should we play it? No, no, play no, it no, I mean, no. I think we've all heard it. I no, we wanna, haven't. Mark we, hasn't. Oh, Mark I, hasn't. I just heard it's oh, bad. Yeah. Yeah. Let, me, let me just put it on. Yeah, play it. Uh, the fucking Expedia. It's know. called. Dude, you got fucking ads, bro. Ads are for poor people. Wait, just just skip to the Drake part. All right, hold on. I'm black, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm black, I swear. <laughs> Damn. All right, I've heard enough. That- <laughs> dude, dude. Yeah, so, oh, and you know what? You know what I read about that song? Is that apparently, um, <laughs> apparently, uh, <laughs> D- Delilah is the name of a, of a lady who, like, accused Drake of, like, sexual assault or something. Wait, so what? Apparently, people are... They're, like, they're trying to figure out like why would he put out such a horrible song? Oh, and apparently, man. it's like he's trying to like suppress maybe search results. I don't know. Oh, hmm. I don't know. Who Anyways, Drake? dude, but just imagine Drake. Like imagine <laughs> twenty like like twenty sixteen like when God's Plan came out and someone coming up to you and being like, "Hey, you want to see what song this was gonna end up?" Wang Wang Delilah. And it came out. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Play. It was a it was a <laughs> bold choice of Drake to collab with Jar Jar Binks on that one. <laughs> 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 Dude, there's a part where the guy who sings a song, he starts reeling off a bunch of um, uh, Canadian banks. TD, RBC, Scotia Bank, RBC, CIBC, PC Financial. Just completely off beat. Wait, what? <laughs> in that song? If you want to go to Scotia Bank, <laughs> yeah, and he just starts. Wait, screaming. in that song? <laughs> I didn't that. And I didn't know that they. I, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know that they were um, Canadian banks, and, but I was listening to it with Karen, my friend Karen, ah, for the first time. Hi, like, Karen. She's from she's from Toronto. So listen to the show, um, and she was just like dying because she pointed out that there's she just laced like six <laughs> Canadian banks. In a Where's row. Fargo? <laughs> well, yeah, I have to find it. I'll find it. That's pretty talk hilarious. about keep but keep talking. Why why did why was he listening to the banks? Because he's saying like, oh, if you want to go like to the bank, you know, oh, have yeah. money, you know, yeah. it's just like it's a. It's he's a like, I bank, line. I know. But Drake doesn't say it though. It's like it's uh, the other guy who he collabs with on the song, who's like some random Toronto guy. Apparently. It's like it's like yeah. when an American rapper was like was like Chase. Uh, well, start go- and just like was on my money. Okay, got it. Yeah. I'm just America. glad that we can like move past, it and hopefully it illuminates like other Drake like figures in the world. You know, because we all know we've all met people who are just fucking like flagrantly inauthentic. Mm-hmm. Right, they they're clearly people who try to say what they what, what they think people want to hear, oh, and yeah. kind of just have like they have like this like f- there's like nothing in their eyes you can tell right away, but yeah. we can tell right. You feel like you can tell. There's no conviction, but it, but it doesn't seem like anyone else does. Words. Or if they Ooh, do, they yeah. just can't. They just don't care to point it out, right? You, they just like ah eh, whatever because maybe they're fake too. I don't know. Yeah. But like, but it's so it's so like bizarre because you're just like <laughs> wait wait you guys have to know right? You guys have to yeah, know dude, this, this shit. Yeah. But you t- yeah you encounter that at work. You encounter 
there like like in your in your like in like school whenever you're like at school in situations like that Mm -hmm. in your personal lives there's just like people who are just so fucking fake and you're like god damn it why could nobody else know and i I feel like people have felt that way about drake oh dude right it's it's like the same dude but just in different bodies like the same spirit of just inauthenticity and authentic and just finding what next like liking whatever is popular at the time and just sort of always shifting and take like changing your form Mm -hmm. because you're like not really you don't even know who you are like no it's also, it's, I, I think it's just good personal policy not to trust Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I, like, there's I, something I, going I, on there. Wait, like, what were you going to say? You were, you were gonna say oh, yeah. Right so um, I, I work in sales, as, as listeners of the pod know. Uh, and a buddy, uh, not buddy, some dude in the New York office closed a deal. And they took a picture of him celebrating. Oh, and God. I didn't know this about this coworker. But he is, I want to say, 245 pounds. Hmm. And... Very like a lot of it is held in the face, you know. Like there's some right. heavy people. Uh, how is his portion? A lot of two hundred and forty five pounds is his. <laughs> a lot of it. Two hundred forty. He's a. You know that's like not sixth. normal. Yeah. It's just real big. Wait, so, wait, so, wait, so what do you mean by that? Yeah, like what? Like, what's what's the shape? No, no, no. Like there's some like people. The shape of it. There's some people um, who like when they they get bigger, it distributes. Yeah, my like my dad. Ha- yeah, my dad listens to this podcast now. I know that he gave us a nice compliment last week. Thank you. And this you. isn't this news to him. Too. He carries his weight in his stomach, and there was times where he was really fat, but like it was just still stay in his stomach, and we would say that he had a food baby because he was perpetually yeah, like, really big. But some people, um, Latinos are like this. Latinos get a lot of weight in their face. I wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could, yeah. Wait, hold on. This is the first time you've seen this guy? This is the first time I've ever seen a full body shot of this guy. <laughs> right, because you were, you were the remotely. Today. Yeah, yeah. He's right. in New York. So, like, I'm in SF. So you just saw so, his little picture of like. So, yeah. So to, to, to celebrate, it's him at his desk. There is a hot dog. Like rapper on his desk. There's oh, no. four things of yogurt, and then there's like three things of fucking gummy bears. This fool is eating gummy bears at work. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's leaving the trash on his desk. In his win picture. In his win picture. No, that was no, no. Yeah, hey, wait, well, that's picture. the pic. That was the picture. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, he's celebrating. Yeah, that's so celebrating by eating. And like, it's just, oh. and it's just him to celebrate. He's opening up another piece of candy, and the look on his little piggy face, <laughs> opening up his candy, and his fucking pigsty. I was, I was so revolted. Man, I applaud you for outing a coke. <laughs> I for outing a coke. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, like whatever. Okay, like, but 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 maybe. Do you consider the possibility that he knew kind of what he was doing? He's just being a troll. No, nah, no. Someone not. else took the photo. So of this him. is authenticity. So at least. yeah, yeah at least it's him authentic. In an authentic moment <laughs> celebrating this. this. Hey, at least that. Yeah, he's not a Drake. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're better than Drake, sir. Yeah, he's yeah. very authentically large. <laughs> <laughs> Self control. That, that just it stuck with me for days. It just stuck with me for days. Like, just at least clean your space, man. Also, you're a grown ass man eating gummy bears in a professional setting. Like, <laughs> that's what you choose as a snack to keep you going through the day. You're just eating packs of gummy bears. Oh, that's a good point, huh? That's just yeah, that's know. pretty rough. I mean, the most I do is like I'll see some peanut M and M's in the in the kitchen. I'll just be like, oh, okay. those are probably and the even best then, ones. there's only like six in a pack though. Yeah, but even so then, like, isn't it like a? I feel like it's like a Friday kind of snack. You yeah, get gummy bears on a no. Friday. Oh, afternoon gummy, yeah, you're yeah. about to go no this fool's eating maybe gummy a couple like, yo- what kind of yogurt was it it was like <laughs> that matters like yeah, well it was it, it was the good yogurt know, but the fact that I there know. was like four <laughs> there was fucking three or four of them stacked uh, yeah i mean if you eat <laughs> like <laughs> if you eat four it doesn't matter yeah. Yeah. dude like you could have just thrown dude, them away this guy must not be lactose intolerant either no, that or he's a not. lunatic man that's dude, so much like, dairy that's a lot for, for like a, for like a <laughs> but then it made me question did you eat all four of them back to back or interspersed is, interspersed or was they just a circuit also the other thing too you Gotta, you gotta keep <laughs> concerned about you gotta you gotta Dude, fucking you put the gummy think about on this the guy for lunch that day he chose a hot dog he chose a hot dog he ate a hot dog along with gummy bears and four things of that yogurt and it just is just... well nathan's hot dogs you need a new competitor yeah, no, that you, guy. You dropped the other dude. What's his name? At least after winning this deal, he can pay for his medical bills. It's not even that big. Of a Mark, deal. Mark, yeah. uh, Mark, and I used to work in sales together at a large corporation that is known for being bad in terms of working in sales. At that <laughs> yeah. Mark, do you remember? 
Do you, do you recollect any such characters from our days at this company? <laughs> no, you actually have a unique one. No yeah. one was like so. Didn't we have someone on our team who uh, she was she was dirty whining when she was out once and she got Wait, whiplash. Dirty whining? <laughs> yeah. What the, what the fuck is dirty whining? It's like a it's dirty whine. It's like a Caribbean though. type of dance. So funny. This. Oh. <laughs> and she was doing that when she was out one night. She fucking tweaked her neck. <laughs> you fucking tweaked her neck. Aww. <laughs> that sucks. Poor girl. Did, did she have a brace? Damn, you showed yeah, up to work she with really a brace. Yeah, she really fucked up. Mark one time. I fucked up too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to bring up this. Yeah, story. do it, do it. Wait, you had sex with this? No, no. No, no Mark, Mark, you, you, you tell a story and I she, can she tell my from giving me head, not just kidding. No, damn. Uh, so <laughs> I was actually, it was with her actually. We went to see Snoop Dogg DJ. That's pretty cool. And we mm. got fucking turned. And I was Wait, like. Wait, where was this? In San Francisco? Yes, in San Francisco. What year was this? 20... Uh, 15 probably. 2015, you're in San Francisco. Which part of town was it? Some hilly part, some extremely <laughs> hilly part, like Knob Hill it's probably. Important, important. Or yeah. there's a big slant and it's very misty. But I'm like, wow, I'm so turned and I can't find anyone. I'm so drunk. I've lost all my friends. It's time for me to exit. Right. <laughs> so I called an Uber and I started running down the slanted hill oh, no. in the misty dew. <laughs> oh, and no. I, like in a full sprint, hit the ground. <laughs> And I did catch myself with my hands, but my face still hit the ground. And I slid <laughs> and, gave, and I ripped open my forehead. Oh my God. And was just straight, God. like gushing. I just oh laid there God. for a few, like maybe 15 seconds. And some guy walked by and was like, dude, do you need help? <laughs> and uh, I like, <laughs> I think he helped me to call my, finish my Uber home and get in the vehicle and escape. But. Damn. Dude. So, so like I, I didn't know any of this, right? So I just see Mark at work, <laughs> <laughs> and like this place we had like it was this is before we worked like at cool tech companies where you could like little it's like the dress code's a little looser. It was mm-hmm. like like '80s corporate basically. You had to wear, wear a tie, but you had to wear like you know like a shirt, basically. Business yeah, casual, yeah, 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 like to a like button shirt up. and stuff. Yeah, that you sucks. had to be like a fucking total square, dude. Like, oh man, for the sales sucks. job. Dude, I had a like, job. <laughs> I had a coding oh, job where I had to wear serious. a full suit one time. <laughs> <laughs> I shut the fuck up. No I'm not way. kidding. You had to wear a full suit. Wait, wait, wait. Why? To code. <laughs> because, wait, because wait, 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 sorry, wait, wait, continue wait, wait, with the story. Sorry, sorry. We got it. We got it. So I just see Mark at work because Mark had a bunch of fucking scratches on his face and he had to put on this like Neil's board. Uh, <laughs> so I just so get gooey. to the office one day and I just see Mark with this Oozing. fucking shiny ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to scab. I came up to him and I was like, Damn. what the fuck happened, bro? <laughs> and with a completely straight face, Mark told me that exact story that just happened <laughs> with this boy. Wow, you look like that. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> Yes, dude, man, if you ever need And then, like, it took home. like a month to recover, so he looked like that every day. Fuck. Damn, dude, sorry, buddy. Can you work from home now at all? Yeah, I work from home every day, baby. Now, I'm in, like, oh, nice. I come like maybe twice a month. You re- oh, dude, really? Holy shit. You really could have used that in 2015, though. Huh? Hmm. Do you, you prefer to work from home? I do because the commute downtown is like 40 minutes each way. Oh, that's yeah. Like, you wait, do not do live, you live, live in a. He lives in, in Richmond. In Richmond. He lives in the inner oh, Richmond. Okay. Folks, for those of you that don't know, it, that. <laughs> Is a very far you know what you should get, distance Mark? to downtown San Francisco. You should get an yeah. electric unicycle. No, oh, I, yeah. I refuse to die. I've already seen enough trauma. I refuse trauma. to die. <laughs> you can, you can yeah, fuck like your, yeah, yeah, you, you can <laughs> fuck your face up again. I refuse to die. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they, at this job they made us all. It made they made uh, the co- the developers suffer whatever uh, wear suits too because like ninety five percent of the company was salespeople. And I guess they were like, no, you have to wear a suit too, because that's you're one of them. Especially too, because it's like there is a non-existent dress code for engineers in yeah. Silicon Valley. They it, they show up to work looking like shit. It would, <laughs> they have yeah, to it show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, it legit, like, it's, it's probably like, better off if no one sees them. Wearing yeah, a suit, honestly. wearing a suit, legitimately hurt my productivity at that job. Oh yeah, like a lot. Yeah, dude, of course. You have like, to fucking iron it and dry it and <laughs> steam yeah, it. And n- it. Not, not Wait, what? How? Whatever. Because, it's, because like... Dry clean. <laughs> like, just get choked by the tie. Like, like I'm not Jeez. saying... Okay, so basically sales <laughs> at jobs, it's more like talking to other people. Like, not, wh- like what, what's your job? Like, what do you do? Yeah, you, I talk, you, I talk to, to people. other people. Yeah, yeah. You're right, like right. The, yeah. So, like, if you wear a suit while you're doing that, it's like, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. But, like, obviously, you, you prefer not to. But, like, if you're sitting there coding, you're trying to, like, figure out potentially, like, really hard problems i would like to be comfortable while doing that because it's already a hard enough task i don't uh, fucking no, need to be sitting yeah. there in a goddamn suit i mean right while i try mm-hmm. to figure this shit out like right yeah 
and I would like show That's up. That's hilarious I, to think that they made programmers wear suits. And I just like show up at 7 a.m. <laughs> 7 a.m. in January in Nebraska. It's like cool as fuck. I'm just like, where, did you, you <laughs> where did you procure your suit from? Did you already have one? Uh, I got it from, I believe, like J.C. Penney's or something. <laughs> of course. That's what I was J.C. Penney's. It was minimum because I didn't care what it looked like. I was like, I have to wear this. I'm just going to get whatever. I don't give a fuck. I mean, there's nothing wrong if you have no other alternative, obviously. Yeah. But if you do, then you should probably. This was a Sandhills Publishing. And uh, if you, for some reason, are watching this and you go to the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, get all the other computer engineering, computer science uh, majors together and boycott that company. Do not internship there. They suck. Fuck them. <laughs> nice. Yeah. There you go. We're Anti-plug. Fuck you guys. Fuck Sandhills Publishing. You're just killing trees Ooh. for no reason. Yeah. I've been getting really into, uh, uh, because it's like I, I realized at one point in my life I don't have that much formal wear. So I've been like upping my game. Like I have like a couple pairs of like uh, like wool Italian trousers. Ooh. Yeah. And sometimes I'll just, I, 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 I get possessed by something. I don't know why. Uh, but I'll just wear that with like a nice little sports coat and I'll just come into work like that, <laughs> like in Silicon Valley. Bro, isn't it sick though? I know. Yeah, it feels feel like really a boss. I, mean, I, I like- feel like, yeah, I, I expect it from salespeople. Those salespeople at my company, even when they come into our shitty ass like small office, they look pretty fucking sick. Like they yeah. all dress pretty nice. I'm like, damn, hell yeah. You get possessed by like a 1950s ghost. No, honestly, yeah. They're all like, like hot <laughs> and shit and cool. You start like, yeah. you start, you start, like hitting women and stuff. There's all these geeks in their t-shirts and shit. People. And then all these cool people who look like real yeah, adults it, walk it, in. It's <laughs> almost like a revolt because in San Francisco, people right, yeah. don't dress very well. Guys, we should start that then. We, should, start, we, we should, should. We should all just like be yeah. like. We should all just should like. I go to work be, on Monday in my JC Penney suit. <laughs> I still own. All right, we gotta go all these Macy's, bro. Come on, yeah, <laughs> so we gotta like take it up. I still. Yeah, I mean, honestly, for JC Penney suit, it, looks, it doesn't not. look too bad. I mean, I've worn. I'm worn it to weddings, and there's pictures of me in it. I look, I look pretty you can get Ralph Lauren. Sure, it's fine, bro. JC Penney. Yeah, I'm all my sports coats are vintage Ralph. I have a bunch of like Ralph Lauren sports coats. Everyone has those. I have way too many. I wanted to anymore. <clears throat> they don't fit you anymore. What's that? Did you lose weight or gain weight? I lose weight. I lost weight. Lost weight. Nice. I missed a really good opportunity. Well, I was in a. <laughs> <laughs> Mark once said, "How much weight did you lose playing Dance Dance Revolution?" Oh, yeah. sixty pounds in a <laughs> summer. Three oh months. Oh my god! That's pretty great. People thought wait, I was anorexic. How? Uh, what? <laughs> you were anorexic? They accused me of being like, anorexic. You're like, I'm anorexic, but I must finish this movie. No, they thought he was anorexic. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's I, cool. I was actually eating normally. I just stopped eating Milano cookies on a Saturday watching Toonami. <laughs> yeah. Well, Damn, I really. would never give that up. <laughs> so good. I love Toonami. Me too. Shout yeah. out to Nami. Shout out um, being like a young boy really into anime because you're like smack dab in like the target audience basically. Like it's called. Yeah. They're in the high sub- school? I'm in high school. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 the, yeah. Like the subgenre for like Dragon Ball Z and I'm One Gohan. Piece is Shonen, which literally translates to like young man, like young boy oh, basically. Really? It's, it's like legitimately for like 10 year old boys. That's like square, yeah. like square in the fucking like target audience. I've been we con- were like right uh, yeah. there when that show was airing. Pretty I've been cool. considering uh, showing Troy Dragon Ball Z, but I'm like, I don't know. If I think it'll be good. Dragon Ball Kai. You got to show Dragon Ball Kai. Yeah. Okay. They cut out a they lot of all, all the bullshit. Just cuts out all the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, those episodes, you know, they charge so high. for like two episodes straight. That's what I was like with the joke, right? Is that they what? take like two episodes to like yeah. power up. Yeah. Ah! Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Ah! Ah! Next time on Dragon Ball Z. On the next episode of Dragon oh, and Ball Z. So so and, yeah. the, uh, yeah. and then there's the uh, famous filler episode where they go to the DMV to get their licenses. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. That's fucking episode rocks. She's like, you guys can't fucking fly everywhere. We have to be normal. You're fucking making us stick out and shit. I'd be like, first of all, no, bitch, I can fly. Like, yeah, green, green guy, go be normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, no one ever questions Assimilate why. Assimilate Piccolo. <laughs> Assimilate. Chi Chi's kind of like racist. Well, because the like, Dragon Ball world's kind of <laughs> weird, right? They there are just randomly like in the cities. There's randomly like a dude who looks like a bear just walking around. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Like, yeah. That's yeah. true. And then there's like <laughs> there's dinosaurs and shit. Dude, shout out Akira Toriyama. He passed away recently. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 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 The creator. Yo, Dragon dude, Ball. all of Latin America was mourning that guy. For, I bet, man, because that was um yeah. I was like really yeah, sad man. about that, but also very, I was like sad, happy, like happy, sad because I was like, yeah, like I know a lot of people who loved Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. And like it had a positive, like a tangibly positive influence yeah, on their it really lives. Did. I mean, we're all going to die someday and that guy had a profoundly positive effect on the world. It's a show, yeah, it's a show about uh, training. training to overcome your obstacles and working hard and like protecting your friends and stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. And like that show is the reason, like there is no Naruto or One Piece 
without Dragon Ball. Like, there's no, like, My Hero Academia. There's nothing. Like, none of this. There's no Attack on Titan. Like, this never exists without Dragon Ball. Like, set the template for, like, ever, basically. And it was pretty cool along the way, I guess. It's a cool show, man. It's, like, cool. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's just hard to rewatch though because, yeah, there's, like... <laughs> there's a lot of filler in that, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, it's different. You know, there's less competition back then. And like, also, I'm pretty sure like he time. hated it because like they worked his ass to death. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like when he was sure. drawing it, still. Like, oh my god. <laughs> that's why it gets so wacky towards like the later seasons, like the later arcs, where like there's a big they're fighting a big pink blob who has like a a death ray that turns you into chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> and they start they start doing a little dance and they can combine two guys into one guy. Yeah. And that guy can spit not. a ghost out that looks just like him that explodes on contact. <laughs> yeah. I love the yeah, saga really. I, well. I love uh, Fat Boo, man. Fat yeah, Boo and Kid cool. Boo. Oh, I don't care, bro. I love the Boo Saga. I'm my favorite was Cell. Well, yeah, Cell, it's yeah. Cell, Cell was supposed to be the end. Cell was yeah. supposed to be. The I, end. My, my yeah. favorite joke that I've seen well, someone, explains it. It's yeah. like it's like I, how can you how can you hate Gohan for like quitting this shit after this? Oh yeah, because <laughs> he's like getting beat up by Frieza yeah. when he's like eight. Yeah, <laughs> and everyone gets mad that he's like a little pussy ass bitch afterwards. It's like, yeah, bro, yeah, like, I'm done, man. Yeah. Well, they hyped him up to be the successor to Goku, and then never really happened. Well, because the show wasn't supposed to keep going. Yeah, well, or the the manga was supposed to end there. It's like, oh yeah, go on to savior. You know, Goku's dead. It's yeah. over. But like, they're like, come on, bro. Even the Cell Saga itself. Man. If you like look at the production of that, it's so funny. Where like the uh, the villains were supposed to just be the first two androids, the, the old dude and the fat, yeah, yeah, the fat dude. And then the editor, his editor, was like, "What the fuck is that, bro? Like, <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, you come from like this awesome Frieza guy to this shit? Yeah, and so like, yeah like, they're like, no, think of something else. And he's like, all right, cool. So then he introduces the two other ones, and he's like nah I mean like they just look like regular people like I don't yeah, know I don't get it so I guess, and he was like fucking fine okay fine, fine. here's right. this bug alien thing and it's like nah he looks stupid bro he looks like a bug and he's like okay well he can transform and then he transforms <laughs> to some other guy that fool's ugly bro he has to transform a, that, that's what kept happening they kept oh, basically saying like that's not good enough that's not good enough that's, that's pretty not good funny enough. and then he ends up with there's a, cell. there's a visual that has always stuck with me about Cell where he's like he opens up his tail and he's uh, he's like absorbing one of the androids yeah. and it's oh, so yeah. disgusting it's so yeah. disturbing it's, it's so like disturbing. horror it's like yeah. horror dude <laughs> it like, it like it's so her. moist it's yeah. really it's gross. so disgusting wait so I guess the logic with going Gohan is that he was like, well, they can't. It'll be imbalanced if they're just super powerful Gohan, super powerful Goku, and then Vegeta hates them or whatever. So we have to like just forget about Gohan. I think this is. Uh, we just can't have Gohan be powerful anymore. It would be imbalanced or what? Oh, oh no, no, no. So then, so then, so then the Boo Saga. This is getting really nerdy. I'm sorry, folks, if you're at home like thinking what's going on. But I mean, if you haven't seen, if you're not familiar with Dragon Ball, like and it's it's kind of on you. Anyhow, so they start they start sort of the Boo Saga, and Gohan is the main character. He's like he's like the main character, and Goku's still dead. It's about him and like his alter ego, the great Saiyan man, oh, right? Yeah. Like learning to become the protector. But the thing is, like fans just weren't responding. So the editors like. You guys got to bring Goku back into this yeah, fucking story, yeah. bro. They did not <laughs> like, like him back. It's the same thing. Like, <laughs> they were basically just kept telling him, like, this just sucks. Like, dude, do something yeah, else. dude. The first part of the Boo Saga where he's uh, just training with Videl, that girl. Yeah, that fucking sucked, bro. I did not and like because it. it just changes course so fast. Like, okay, uh, Vegeta's evil now, and they're just like, nah, like I don't know. The pink guy mm. has to do something else. The though. They just guy. kept. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Isn't there yeah. a point where like Vegeta and like Goku are like inside of him fighting or something? Yeah, it gets what? really crazy. So they, yeah, yeah, they bring yeah. Goku back, but it's only for one day. But the one day at last for somehow the rest of the arc. It basically turns into that movie, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, Osmos- Osmosis Jones, but it's fucking. Oh yeah, we were just talking about that. We Osmosis were. Jones. Yeah, we were yeah, at, at, the, uh, the party. at Christian. Remember Christian last oh, week yeah. on our show? He held a housewarming party on Friday evening, which we were all at. And we essentially what ended up happening when we we're hanging out at this party is we did a unrecorded <laughs> episode yeah, of this show. Yeah, <laughs> just by well, they know, actually played my song, and I thought that was fun. Oh, but they nice. played bed yoga. And you yeah. did bed yoga. Oh yeah, we played I, bed yoga. <laughs> I have a video of 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 uh, of of when we played that. Oh man, bed yoga is a song that Mark made under his his stage name, the Good One. Uh, when was this? Like it was almost like six years ago now. And that song came out, right? What? I, I put my wow. first song on Spotify in twenty twenty, so it can't be oh, absurdly far. Four years. Yeah, probably about Math. four. Damn, 2020 is a long time. And the ago. lyrics are uh, interesting. You should go check it out for yourself. But that was Bet pretty yoga. entertaining when we played at the party. It was, there was fucking like, hilarious. There's the these, these, you were dying, uh, dude. <laughs> there's there's very these, sexually suggestive lyrics. There, there, are these, there are these two fairly conservative feeling like girls who lived in San Jose and then just put on bed yoga and they're just like... 
Yeah, oh, cool. I love how, uh, how we just spent 15 minutes shitting on San Jose. I know. We did. <laughs> yeah. oh, yes. They said South, they were from South Bay, but they didn't. No, specify. they're from. Yeah, they, they, they're from like Sunnyvale, which is arguably worse. It's like purgatory. Worse. It's like purgatory. Yeah, yeah. Purg- that also, whole area, which, and that's why they said they're from South Bay. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. <laughs> dude. I I didn't know this. Um, I was in Fremont the other day. Why? Uh, for for because I I was I gonna go meet place. a friend. Oh. We were gonna play tennis. This is a while ago. Okay. And then I I showed up there, and then I looked around. Every single person was Indian. <laughs> Every single person in this neighborhood, everyone at the tennis thing, I was looking around. I was like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, my my my. <laughs> I have never been like I've known that. Okay, you work in San Francisco. I work in Tigard. There's a lot of Indian people. I've never been to a town that's just all Indian people. Bro, I yeah. fucking love Indian people. Yeah, like, shout like, out Indian people though. They're hella yeah. cool, bro. Like yeah, I love, but I was I just like blown away. I was like, "Oh, people. dude, holy shit!" <laughs> I, I I have this uh, coworker named Yash. He's Indian, and I went to a Travis Scott concert with him one time. <laughs> And uh, it was just me and then all of his friends, and they were all Indian. So I was just hanging out with like eight Indian dudes all night. It was fucking awesome. <laughs> They're fucking tired, bro. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, me, me, and, me and JD, one of my friends, JD, shout out JD. Um, we went to, we mistakenly, we're supposed to go meet up with his aunt, but we we were fucked up already. So we put the wrong address in. So we ended up at this random bar in Santa Clara <laughs> that Oof. was packed. With Indian people. <laughs> <laughs> and it was fucking sick, bro. But they're playing like, you know, like, like T Pain. Oh, no, no. <laughs> they're they're playing Wagwan Delilah. Delilah. Oh my God. I'm so <laughs> They're playing Wagwan Delilah. No, they're just playing the slap. So it was just fucking tight, bro. Yeah, it sounds great. Dude, I had someone, I had someone say to me, like, we met oh, one we... guy, though, who was self hating. Unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of self, there's a lot of self. He was from uh, he was from England though, which probably makes more sense, right? Yeah. Because they're very his parents they're, are probably, they're probably much more outwardly fucking hostile towards Indian people in England than they are mm. here, considering their history. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Mm. They, they have more yeah, hate, hatred for like refugees and such shit over there yeah. because like yeah, but no, but like Indian people in in England aren't refugees. I'm not saying they're refugees, but they they like just I feel like they see everyone who's not white as like oh you might be a terrorist. Weren't they no. like more like, than we did? Didn't they didn't they, they colonize India for like a long ass time yes. by 200 yes. years yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's, that's why, why they play cricket that. bro you know it's you know it's funny you know it's funny about the english uh conquest of india like yeah. they didn't need, like it wasn't even the government it was the east india trading company conquered all of india on accident they initially had just these two ports and then like they're like we we just need to keep creating like more favorable like Trade terms routes. here in India for us. Yeah. So they just kept pitting all these Indian kingdoms <clears throat> against each other until eventually like they themselves like were so rich they just started conquering territory and then they eventually like conquer cuz like India as a country as an idea is very very new. For a, much of its history it's been like 10 15 different like principalities and kingdoms. <laughs> Uh, but like a fucking company that was like like peddling tea basically <laughs> conquered it <laughs> took 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 advantage of like all these fucking like Spices. inner turmoils and then the british government was like what the fuck like like we're going to have to formally take this over <laughs> Uh, it's pretty wow. funny, but they did yeah. in South Africa. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. If you ever read, um, there's this amazing book. I forget the author, but it's called Anarchy, and it's the history of uh, the <clears throat> British conquest of right on. India. But it, I mean, it, it makes sense funny. that like, like I'm guessing it's a bunch of like Indian families who live in Fremont, and that makes sense. I had someone the other day be like, "Oh, did you see like Fremont made number one on the list of like best places to like raise a kid?" And I was like, "That's great." Um, where is it on the list of like interesting places? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty low, dude. Man. Fremont. Fucking sucks, yeah. man. You want to know why? Why? <laughs> because I've never <laughs> it's a lot of wealthy people who got fucking rich during like the Pirates of Silicon Valley era, right? So, mm. like, yeah, like yeah. way back when, right? Um, so it's very expensive to live there. Is that like the dot com bubble or what? Um, no, it's before like before that. Before, before that, this is like Oracle type wow. shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. like real like tech, like Cisco and shit. <laughs> like making real shit. Yeah, yeah. like really, like companies that do real stuff. They shouldn't yeah. put radio on the internet. Apple's hey, in there too. Hey, what an idea! Sure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Apple's, maybe even Google, low key. Like maybe later on, you know, like yeah, like they're all they're all just made up of companies that have been successful over like the past 25 years, right? Or like 45 years or whatever. Mm. And fucking. So it's super expensive to live there, not because that's nice, but because the people who live there have a lot of money, right? So it kind of just turns out that way. The schools there, as a result, are hyper fucking competitive. You meet anybody from fucking Fremont, they are a fucking anxious, nervous wreck, like half the time. Hopefully they've, they've been able to overcome that, but likely not because, especially if they yeah. live here, because they're still so local to it. Yeah. It's a crazy, toxic, competitive 
community where like for the rest of your life you're comparing yourself to the people you went to high school with because they worked at Facebook first or for longer. Oh, dude, or that fucking sucks. Or you know what I'm saying? Or like Fang. they got married or yeah. like fucking they went to this university instead and they went to this grad school and like yeah. so I meet people from there and I have so much like empathy for them because I'm like I feel so yeah. fucking bad. It's like, where I come from, like, <laughs> you graduate high school, you're fucking like, uh, you're like a champ. So, like, yeah, way to go, I've never buddy. had that kind of pressure, yeah. though. And I think, mm, like, as a result, never. I'm like all Same the better here. for it, right? Because yeah. it's not like, yeah, I'm not to that level, <laughs> but somewhere in the middle where, like, I wasn't expected to go to Yale or fucking Harvard or something. Like, just going to any college would have been great. And I did that. And so, by like, anything extra, like coming here and whatever and getting a job here is just like, that's just cherry on top. I wasn't like peer yeah. pressure to do that. I didn't feel also, obligated. Like, it's funny. Like, I'm a, I'm a, because born and raised in the Bay Area, I am such a snob when it comes to the Bay Area. Like, anything south of like Sam, like, I want to say Burlingame, like, sucks to me. Like, <laughs> I, I agree. Hate, I, Hate I hate San Jose with a passion. <laughs> I hate Silicon Valley. I like, mean, I it, don't like like Cupertino. I mean, that whole that whole area that just, just lines up with like at least what I know you as a person. It's just way too fucking like boring and like like typical. It's like your whole like life. Yes, so you can see the rest of your life sucks. until your grave once you move down there. It's so yeah, it's so it's corporate. Really weird. Yeah, it's very corporate. Corporate man. Yeah, man. Well, it's, it's just like although I've always been very impressed. Like you drive down there and you see the Oracle Building. The Oracle Building does look very nice. Oh yeah, <laughs> luckily. Un- unfortunately, nice the guys? people who, who work there <laughs> who are in sales do not get to work in the <laughs> building. Honestly, from what I've heard. Every time, every time I, I drive by that building, I just think about like all the fucking exceptions that Java throws at me at work. <laughs> Mark, have you have you been to Fremont? <laughs> I went there to visit uh, one of our old friends from that first job, Jen. Oh, dude, Jen's a homie. Hey, shout out, Jen, bro. I miss you. you what do you think? What do you, you think of the place? I mean, okay, it's got good weather. That's one positive. But I do feel like it is a corporate soulless area. Yeah. And I, it would be pretty boring to live there, but safe. And I can understand if you want to raise your kids there. Where in the Bay Area, the San Francisco Bay Area, would you draw the line, like like similar to Nathan's? Where's, where's your line? It's What's funny your that you said that, because I was like, Burlingame, Redwood City is exactly how I feel. Yeah, Redwood, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like Redwood City, to be San honest. San Mateo, Redwood City's Foster nice. City. Yeah. It's, a nice, like, <laughs> it's a nice change of pace. I don't yeah. want to go there it's a lot. It's definitely borderline for But me. it's a nice change uh, of dude, pace. I was, dude, I was hanging out in Redwood City. Uh, I was like downtown Redwood City, and there was so many hot girls there. I yeah. was like blown away. Because it's like, another, it's like similar to Fremont. It's like it's very expensive to live there. Yeah. And so the thing with Fremont too, the other bone that I have to pick with them is that like they are like one of the one of the two, both of them, Redwood City and, and Fremont, both are like cities that have like. Um, high ass occupancy rates, right? Like super high occupancy rates for housing. Um, but they don't build any. They're just like NIMBY as fuck. Yeah, like of course. super NIMBY. Yeah. Which is a term not in my backyard, which pertains to typically uh, yeah. wealthy neighborhoods that for whatever reason they won't they don't want to devalue their own household or whatever. Yeah, they always they come up with some fucking reason that's housing. something besides that. They yeah. refuse to yeah, approve the building of additional <laughs> Shout out housing. Steph Curry. So as a result, <laughs> they end up with a pretty nice city like Redwood City. But it's just like it's like all these people are assholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it is nice. Yeah, Speaking of the nice. hot girls, uh I wish I was in their in group, but I'm not, and therefore I hate them. Yeah, I yeah, feel like I feel them. like the girls who live down there and whatever, like they work at like the big corporate offices of Google or or whatever they're doing down there, they want to like have their cake, live down there, and eat it too. They they I'm on Hinge, and they'll like put their location at San Francisco, and we'll talk for a little bit, and then it'll be like revealed, like oh, I'm actually in Redwood City. Oh damn, that's I so feel like that's so scum. That's dude, Just wasting. That's I'm not deceptive. gonna fucking drive okay, thirty minutes. Redwood City's not that me, far though. though. I mean, yeah. like, but there's a whole city of people yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's true, and yeah. I put my location to San Francisco, and she just says, San and, and she, I, and probably at first she was like Redwood City. Let me see who's here, and then she ran out of people really quick, and then she yeah. was like, let me just put just my location. It's like San you don't live up here. Move up here. Willing to move to go that far, you would probably would have put like I would have. I would expand my my radius. But anyway, that's that's like I have animosity towards some people live in the South Bay. I mean, but and look who came up from there because they had there was nothing to do down there they came up to the house party true oh, they yeah. came all the way from oh, san jose yeah. that was so far they far came right. i mean i think they're friends they're also hilariously uh those two girls were two innocent. of the three girls that were at this party oh yeah i remember, I remember, <laughs> I remember yeah, one girl being uh, the other yeah. girl being mark's girlfriend yeah. Aaron, when, when, when they walked in Aaron, Aaron. mark's girlfriend went yay yeah, finally <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was, too many hot dogs. That was hilarious. Yeah, man, yeah. all the way from San Jose. I, I, uh, I could have walked fourteen minutes. Damn. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's a great. Uh, I like his uh, spot. I like his neighborhood. It's oh, cool. I hilarious, like by the way, that like that's not that that zone where he lives. It's near. Uh, I won't dox his location, but it's kind of if you know your San Francisco, it's kind of near like where the Pinterest office is. Um, that area was not zoned for uh, residentials, right? So in order to live in that area, you have to incorporate oh. yourself as a cor- you have to say you're a corporation <laughs> and then rent the buildings as the corporation. Wait, but that whole building is looks like a fucking apartment <laughs> complex. It's, it's it's a scam. Yeah, bro. welcome to San Francisco, buddy. Let's go, baby. Yeah, what the Soma's feeling that too. I had a buddy that Breaking lived in the, the low, Soma loft, um, which is hilarious that you would live <laughs> like he he paid a lot of money to live in Soma right next to your Buena so, Plaza. The Soma lofts are like that. Oh, it's dirty. Yeah, Soma lofts fucking are like dirty, that. bro. It's wait, so I knew. Grimy. Wait, is that the one with the fountain? No, I don't know. Dude, the Soma Lost, I think I know yeah, what you're talking about. It's on that corner. Yeah, yeah Babuena. Right? No, yeah, it's, it's right next to your Babuena Plaza. It's like right next to Oh, yeah. that's different. Oh, oh dude, that place, shit, man. I toured that building when I was going to move here. It's rough. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. Like nice, but it clearly sucks. You no, know? that whole, dude, I like, I, but I, you know, it's like, it's funny because I, I kind of miss it because like I spent like two years working at that company that was like headquartered right there. Um, like that stretch of Folsom is disgust like yeah, disgusting it is but it that still has a lot of character to it and it was still like pretty and it was still like if you look past the the hordes of fentanyl zombies um <laughs> there was some nice coffee shops like but man do you see, you see the worst of it right? man, I, I remember, never want to feel <laughs> i remember I don't ever wanna. I, when i was first moving here i was uh i was like looking for a place right and <laughs> 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 but when I, was, when I was first moving here, uh, I was looking for a place, and the only people I knew of that could give me feedback were, were my coworkers. So I'd like put into the chat, like, "Hey, what do you guys think of this?" <laughs> and I remember like the first place I put was like on like Six and Market Street. Oh, and I just remember the whole chat just no. being like, "Absolutely, do not do, do that." Do That's you, actually, and really I'm the pretty sure even it. like Shane was like, the TL. They're, "They're like, are you are you cool with like stepping over like like heroin needles when you go to work?" Wait, is that was that was oh, was I in that chat? Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember you, <laughs> you gave me a lot of good good tips. I was like, "Oh shit, really?" Okay, I was like, "Don't do it, bro." Yeah, dude, where you live is is nice, but I get that. Because but we always yeah. you always get like that like nice. that like uh, Trustafarian who fucking lives in the tenderloin is like it's not that bad and like yeah but and if the, you can and, avoid it like and see the, the yeah, thing the reason i was almost tricked is that the apartments look really nice and everyone knows rents in san francisco is expensive so that'd be like damn this is really nice for how Until much they it get is you, bro. i wonder mm-hmm. what the catch is yeah they get so many people like that there's all these big the, like these big managed buildings like nema and shit that are like all in like that yeah. like on, the, on market street basically mm-hmm. and they're expensive or they're like they're like decently priced actually and you get like kind of good shit for your money but it's like in like the worst fucking it's called i would call it the no go zone zone between six and tenth on market and you know other, yeah. just I would also avoid there. and like I had a buddy that lived in a pent not penthouse but like a nice area right next to the civic center and like you could see the civic center like from his like uh, outside you go outside it was a nice apartment you see that beautiful view yeah but it was like Mad Max getting bro, to his dude, place. Was it, was it Fox Plaza? I don't know. I don't remember. What Fox it was. Plaza is a notorious building around where you're talking about and has uh-huh. some movies. And it's like the most like it was the one place I had like a relocation guy when I moved out a year after grad school, mm-hmm. who was like he assigned to find apartments for you and shit. And I, I would send him recommendations too that I saw. And then there, that was the one where he was like. Don't, don't, don't do even it. bother, bro. Yeah, like, don't, dude, even, no, don't even bother. Sucks. Yeah, that means yeah. Yeah. Center yeah. sketch, bro. The Civic Center, is... all of Mar- Like, honestly, that whole stretch, I just Which, I just which just sh- shows you it. how fucked we are, because that's where City Hall is. So they're, they're not even going to clean <laughs> no, that but, up. Like, the their famous, front door. Uh, the famous thing about uh, San Francisco, um, that used to be a very nice, eclectic... That used to be... It looks like it should be nice. Yeah, no, that used to be Little Manila. That used to be a very famous Filipino neighborhood. Um... But they were like, fuck you guys. So they like tore oh. it up and then built Civic Center. Oh. And then all the Filipino people went to Daily City, which is where I'm from, which is why I grew up <laughs> around a lot of uh, Filipino people. Um, but they took like that, that beautiful, nice little like natural neighborhood and then built like a, a giant like marble plaza. And then as retribution, as like karmic justice, it's now filled with fentanyl addicts. Yeah. And, and now, then, and then, and, oh yeah, go ahead. Well, for one Saturday, they cleared everyone out for a fucking EDM show. Cool. And then they all came back. They all came They corral right them there nightly, right? So yeah, we talk about do. this. So really? You, like, yeah. They push them to the Civic Center? Dude, oh if you God. ever fucking like drive or like take an Uber past Civic Center like at night, like, uh, um, 
<clears throat> near that BART station. Yeah. There's like hundreds of homeless people. Yeah, they corral them. They lot. get them all up there's there lot, like dude. at night. I was um I was hanging and out with Christian. Like these huge floodlights and shit. Floodlamps. It's, it's so like, it's, it's so like ugly, harsh man. light and just like a t- like a ton. Like and it's they like, do that so they it, can it's observe like, them It is like fucking what? like holy shit. Bro. So what's like, the what's the strategy behind this? Why are they doing that? Well, I mean, why <sighs> well, if, if you give somewhere. if you give make it worth their while to be there, then they're all there. Yeah, <laughs> and they're not fucking they're up. contained. They're shit. all there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah the true. other thing too, which I find really funny, is that like they've given up trying to police the homeless, right? So completely. The, completely. So now they have that program that's ran by. An insane person. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's the pro. Do you guys you know what I'm talking? It's like urban urban alchemy or whatever the fuck. Oh, they wear those, they wear those vests, yeah, right? They wear so those they, jackets. Yeah. So they're like, okay, this is the idea. Jacob edited, right? So they got okay, a bunch I of. I've seen this. Yeah, bring it in. So like they they gave up on policing them, right? So they're like they got this company that the idea is, what if we have the homeless? police themselves <laughs> oh that's ah, what, what the yeah. does that even so mean? they give some of them vests and pay them something not really sure what to like keep the peace um and uh, it ha- hasn't been working out too great urban alchemy workers pulling out an object that some believe is a weapon what the fuck has it no it has not how do you wait know? so like, look at it it's lawless <laughs> it's so, fucking, like you think they're doing a good i job? think it works pretty well from what i've seen because i used to i used to live near uh oh a, you would you would have more experience there's you're a right fills there. in the civic center and that those people are i didn't know that they were homeless people themselves yeah, it's a Spicy. weird setup. Because I, because it does. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, kind of saw the jobs. It's, it's there, one t- time I was in that fields and there was like you know someone there causing a rug, and one of those folks walked in. and was like, "Hey, get the fuck out!" And oh, took nice. him out. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of two like, birds with one stone. He was You're still blunt a homeless he was person. Like, yeah, hey, get the fuck out. And yeah, like, and yeah. you don't want and police and being in on that. But it is a hilarious idea. I'm not sure it works. It is like a hilariously cartoonish idea. Yeah, it is so lazy. No, the CEO, the the big the the guy who like founded the company i think is under investigation for some yeah shape probably shit. of course what kind of fucking what yeah, kind of fuck? wacko things of that yeah he's, gonna, he's, he's gonna give them like looks tasers. very illuminati too. yeah it's it does it does well the yeah. name yeah. urban it, yeah. i thought they're gonna turn homeless people into gold or something <laughs> 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 you guys have any like cool interactions with homeless people or interesting interactions no one time i sat um because like i i worked on fifth ah, and Folsom. I, one. I worked in fifth and Folsom. uh you see the same ones over and over again and this one guy was like uh, he wanted to talk like he was just like can you just buy me a coffee and i was just like fucking sure so i sat outside the site class and i talked to him for a while and he just told me about his journey about how he started smoking crack um and there's no longer if you are a true blue crackhead uh there is no longer crack in the street to smoke uh, it is very very difficult to get crack um now everyone smokes meth but there's a lot of people that were like that's not my thing Dude, like, we need to resurrect Ronald Reagan. I Come know. on, baby. Wait, so what, back, what, baby. what did they go to after crack then if meth isn't their thing? Uh, I mean, they either get sober or they uh, die. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, have yeah. you seen Requiem for a Dream? Oh, yeah. I have not. Double Dildo. You one haven't time. seen that movie? I one time. For a dream, no. It's so funny. I mean, <laughs> it's horrible, but like, I feel like if you were to see it now, you'd probably I, I, find it very funny. I watched <laughs> the ending of that movie in a sauna, so I was just the most uncomfortable I could have been. Physically, mentally, I was so uncomfortable. How did you do that? Why were you in a sauna? I lived with a guy in Kansas City, and in his basement, he had a sauna, which had like a net, like a screen inside that you could like stream Netflix. To. That's honestly pretty cool. <laughs> That's honestly pretty cool. And I took care. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Even with the steam, and, 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 and I took care of his kid when he went on vacation. So for and I didn't pay rent. Oh, oh. that's pretty cool. All yeah. right. And he was a big Trumper, and he constantly wanted to talk to me about like how cool Trump was and stuff. Dude, this guy sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he sucks really hard. He would he would he would tell me like he would always try to like Wait, brag to what? me about how he was like a superstar at work and stuff. Like he really wanted to seem cool to me. Oh, poor Anyways, guy. Anyways, Mark, you have a Wait, cool. Wait, was he divorced? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was divorced and constantly <laughs> told me like like don't get married, bro. Don't get married. No, he's one of those guys. Right? Yeah. yeah. Apparently, that's every guy. You said that, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Every, that every married guy. When I would tell them like, hey, I'm getting married, they're like, dude, don't. Dude, you know, you know what? <laughs> every single married <laughs> dude. Yeah. And my, you know what I would always my say dad is like, don't do it. Nah. My fucking like, yeah. My no, brother says, I'm no, married. You, you shouldn't get married. Mark, Mark, <laughs> tell us, tell us your story about the homeless, your yeah. homeless person story, because I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Oh, okay. Well, this is relatively recent. Within the past few months, we were driving after a movie Aaron and I my girlfriend wait and what was the movie I honestly can't remember Let me that's think. all I care about yeah. what was it it was probably Born in the Heron or some shit uh, that movie sucks unfortunately I'm sorry <laughs> sorry Miyazaki <laughs> the Miyazaki movie it's, it's actually really bad you should not watch it 
Hey, man, your peak only lasts so long, you know? I'm sorry. Yeah, continue. So I think it's like maybe 10 or 11 o'clock and we're trying to park and we go down a certain road and we have to start backing up because we don't see any spots. And there's a homeless person with a bunch of shit on his back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What do you mean by shit? Like, like just piles of blankets life, and okay, okay. all of his belongings and yeah. a, a skateboard in there too. And he's, shit. he starts like walking towards our car as we're backing up. And we're like, that's a little weird, but not too weird. And then we st- try to park some other part away. But then he's running at us from behind starts like breaking into a sprint and i think he's about to get in, like break our car with his skateboard Wait, or, or fuck our shit oh, up shit. and then aaron starts to scream she's like ah i was like he's he's, he's sprinting at us and then and then she's like i'm gonna lock the doors and she locks the doors but i get out because i don't want him to break the car and then I started shouting at like as loud as I possibly can. And what'd you say? I, I said, get the fuck out of here. I'm going to fucking kill you. Wow. Get out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. That would have stopped me dead in my tracks. <laughs> and, and he did actually stop running and then started to run away. Luckily. Good. And, uh, he, Good. he did say like, this is a crime. You're harassing me. I was just like, I don't care because if he was going to break the car or fuck her shit up or fuck my girlfriend, anything at all, I'm, I honestly, yeah. It wasn't worth the risk is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I got I got attacked by a homeless guy in the public library. Uh, uh, I think I was, I was talking damn, to my... Mark, you, that was crazy, bro. Yeah, dude, that's, that's pretty sick, though. <laughs> Egg of shit. That's a, uh, I've, I feel like, <laughs> well, Jacob, I have a, you do have a similar story though, right? Like sort least, of. Yeah. So I was, I was at the public library and, uh, with my, public library, I feel like, I feel like all my stories are with my then girlfriend, uh, which maybe is a pet sign, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyways, uh, I was, I was, I was at there. the library with my girlfriend. And, yeah, huh? yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, right. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was like, I was like saying some stuff to her. But I hadn't been in the library in a long time, so I was honestly probably saying a little bit too loud. And there was a guy in front of us uh, facing the same direction, so away from us, and just quiet and like a little cubby, you know? And uh, all of a sudden, after I say something, maybe that was like the last straw, he was probably sitting there like, man, this motherfucker says one more thing. Mm. And I probably said one more thing. And he just gets up, grabs a chair, fucking chucks it at me. Oh, and, shit. Uh, you know, he's homeless and malnourished, so I just go, eh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it doesn't really hit me that hard but then he starts like walking towards me and shit and like I'm my cute little girlfriend there I'm just like what the, get the fuck behind me and shit and like I'm not trying to fight a man in the public library I don't know if he has a knife or whatever so uh, you know I just get security and then he they walk him out and shit but damn he fucking threw a chair at me. And I remember like a month into like living here, I was like taking the bus, maybe a month or two into living here, I was taking the bus to Shane's place and uh, we were sitting in the bus and like the bus like hit a hit a bump or something and it surprised me and I go, what the fuck? And then the homeless guy in the bus goes, hey, don't fucking curse in here. There's children on the bus. You <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ironic. So, and uh <laughs> we're yeah, we're just like Dude, I was on what the, the fuck? I, and then uh then we basically do it we're just in like a death stare with that guy until we got off the bus. Oh, because he said like, yeah, wait till you get off the bus, we'll see what finds out. And we're just like, I mean, I'm gonna share and I'm like, this bro's huge as fuck, I'm fine. <laughs> and we get off uh, yeah. and he doesn't do shit. Yeah, of course. Bitch. Dude, uh that actually something similar happened to me. Uh it was a couple years ago. I was on the 14 mission. Cool. Okay, wait, sorry. After this, make sure, you, please tell me, tell the story about when you were at that show with Sarah and you, and those three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, so, but you were at the 14 uh, mission. Uh, yeah, I, was at, uh, I was on the 14 mission. Uh, oh, and I was like, I was like, something had happened at work. I was like pissed. Not pissed, but just one of those days. Just like, dude. Just, just one of those days. Just one of those days. I was having <laughs> a fucking linguistic day. Yeah. And then I, I, get, I get on the bus and then there's, it's a full bus and there's just one seat. Um, that's being occupied by this uh, homeless guy's backpack. And I was like, hey, can you move your backpack? I want to sit down. And he was like, no. And I was just like, if you don't move your backpack, I'm going to sit on it. <laughs> and we were just like, sit somewhere else. And I was like, okay. And I sat on his fucking backpack. <laughs> And he was just like, he got hella heated and he took the back. He was like, I'm going to knock your big ass out. And I looked at him and I was like, go ahead. <laughs> what What was this guy's bill? What did he look like? He was like, um, he was like, he was like, an, he was like similar size to me. Like, but it was just one of those days where I was just like, dude, if it's going to happen today. And Nathan has just had enough. Bro. I just had enough. There's I was like, fucking the, yeah. do it. Just fucking days. throw yeah. it. 
And then uh, uh, he um, grabbed his bag and got hella heated and started screaming at me. But then he like got up and got off at the next stop and was like screaming at me as I got off. And I was just like, ha. <laughs> 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 after that, your day, and then your day was great after that. Yeah, yes. after that, yeah, you probably made you feel really good. Okay. Yeah, and then uh... oh, I got really <laughs> drunk at a show. Very drunk at a, at a George Clanton show. Shout out George Clanton. Oh, uh, nice. Um, and then we were mosh pitting, um, and then I was probably just being very rowdy because I was drunk. I don't drink anymore it's expressly because I cause a lot of havoc when I drink. Most of us don't drink, actually, right? I don't really. I don't really drink, drink anymore. I just, do you drink, Mark? No. I, just, I casually drink on weekends. I just do it not to we be just, annoying. We sometimes. just do sometimes. other. Yeah. Yeah. Very rarely, though, actually. Uh, go on. We just do other drugs. Anyways. So you were wasted uh, this show. I was pretty wasted, yeah. And then uh, these four, <laughs> Those uh, are the days. these three or four, like, <laughs> nerds come at me. Because, like, George Clan, it's if you're into George Clan, it's like, it's, it's not like, it's not like hard rock or anything. It's like <laughs> nerds. It's like electric music. Got to me and was like, you're, like, I think you might have even knocked George Clanton. Like, because, like, he was wow. in the crowd. Like, yeah. And then I was just like, Fuck you! And like one of them came up to me, and then I I shoved him as hard as I could, and like he like fell back, like oh. <laughs> like just fell back hell hard. And then like the three other equally nerdy fucking sexless dorks that they were with, like came like were like hey, and then like all three of them tried to come at me, but because they were um, again sexless dorks at a George Clanton show, I uh, threw all three of them off me simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, oh. oh. Yeah. It was like, uh. It's like when you get dog piled in the movie and you're like, oh. yeah. It's like when all the heroes like ganged up on like Thanos. Yeah. And yeah. like Thanos just went, oh. <laughs> Yeah. And then at that point, security came out and like held him back. Um, and then uh, my wife, who was pregnant at the time, is very embarrassed. What? Yeah, she was pregnant at the well, time. Well, good for you. You fucking fought off all those doors. No, no. It was, my, it was all wife. my doing. That's the thing. Like, I, nah, was, yeah, I was like, oh. Man, that reminds me of when uh, Shane and I went to an Otoboke Beaver show, which is a Japanese shout out Otoboke Beaver. What the fuck is Otoboke Beaver? Japanese punk rock band. Yeah, they're a Japanese all female punk rock group, and they fucking go hard as fuck at their live shows, and they all wear different colored dresses and stuff. They're all color coded, and they're all just like sick. It's like sick, intense music and going there live. I've been to one show with Jacob. I went to one show with Mark. Actually, I want to go. When like ninety nine percent of the crowd are like dorky nerds, and so like we were up at the front, and people were like casually trying to like push a mosh so we were just like <laughs> just like it's so cool like lifting weights and being at a like a show I know like it's that. great like, they, they, they try to like push up against you and you're just like I you're like no. no dude oh my god I went to a, a, a dingy little punk show in the warehouse in SF um, which is near it's like in Hunter's Point um, and it was like all these emaciated punk kids like like uh, doing mosh pits, and I was just like walking through there. Like, they, like Excuse they me, threw like me. all their weight on me, and they were just like deflecting off me. Like it was like I was just like, dude, no, I was just like walk through. Like, dude, it's great, yeah, dude. Uh, it really comes in which, clutch. Uh, also, another, another dude. I was out with friends, um, and for this is another very superficial reason, uh, but it always stuck with me. Like, um, they were like, we were all at trivia night, and for some reason, the the topic of arm wrestling came up. Oh no! Oh, my. And then like <laughs> over the top, baby. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> we could probably beat you. Like they're like, why? All like we we're just like they, you know, we we're just being friends. And then all uh, three of them, uh, I like just sat there, did like it was not hard at all. Like just like a zero in a row. <laughs> zero. <laughs> yeah, we're not even tired. You know, one of my my Go. friend, my friend, Go. shout out, um, shout out, Bozo Benny. Uh, Benny was a. Uh, like turning red, like his entire body was like working very hard and to move my like arm and inch. And I was just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like barely anything. That's when you knew the last time like, you were going to hang out with them. <laughs> yeah. Like, and yeah. arm wrestling is like the dad's ultimate bar of like strength. Were you yeah. dad I remember time? one time Shane beat me so quickly at arm wrestling that I was like, I really, I thought my whole life, like <laughs> I, I, re, I restructured my workout plan. I was like, damn, dude, this guy, <laughs> it wasn't even a little hard. <laughs> I was so mad. It's like, it's like Rocky too. You're like, oh man. Uh, uh, yeah, but, yeah. Uh, like would Rocky Two being the whatever, worst? Whatever, whichever one Rocky Two is. Did we watch that? That movie yeah, is we did. terrible. Yeah, <laughs> Rocky Two sucks. Rocky two no, sucks. Give me worse than Rocky Five. <laughs> Rocky Five is oh Rocky Five God. is also oh, we don't awful. talk about. Holy that fuck! Yeah. yeah, you know what? Two other movies sucked. Creed Three. You know what? Creed yeah. Three sucked ass. Did anyone see that? No, I saw of course it. not. Oh, you I saw it, and I was texting Shane in the movie theater. Like, you're right. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I Dude, even, I saw. Uh, I didn't even see Creed One. I didn't see any of the uh, Creed One and Two is sick. Creed Two has a six. 
soundtrack okay. if, yeah, if you're working okay. out. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, I like really that actor. Good. I like uh, Anthony B. Jordan. Michael, no, it's Michael, Michael Jordan. Jordan. Whatever. I got tired of him God after damn it. a while. Because oh, yeah. he yeah, just I'm like was the, he started being the same in every movie, and I'm like. All right, bro. Like, get to show up and be Michael B. Jordan. And like one yeah, of his yeah. one of his things is like he he's like, oh, I'm an adult that like black, adult black guy that likes anime, right? And and you can kind of see it in Creed three, and he just butchers it. Right. Well, Oof. I just I, yeah. <laughs> Wait, is Michael B. Jordan into anime? No, I mean you know he's he's just he's like he wants he, to be. Yeah, exactly. Like, he wasn't he wasn't with us. He wasn't really into he with the shits, you know. He wants to be one like, of those. Cool he was, black I don't think nerds. he was. I maybe though. Maybe I could like be wrong. Shane. But like, I feel like, <laughs> like you know, we know how deep this shit can go. We know how like how nerdy someone can really be about anime. Like, like you know, what I'm saying like there's 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 levels to this. Yeah. I feel like he's like a level one, but compared to everyone else, that's like significant. Damn. If you don't like anime yeah anyway. i also didn't like it i also um didn't really like black panther that much me neither yeah. I like Dude, that's like one, one of my spicy I, I, for I some reason i guess like people one. dance a spicy take i have because i'm like black but like yeah i'm not allowed to say i'm not allowed to say that movie's, really like say that that movie's bad personally cool. but it's bad. yeah i remember and, at one point and also like i'm not like i'm like african american so i mean actually i've never not the same wait at one point at one point in that movie i was thinking about it the other day i don't know why uh but at one point someone like starts like fighting someone with a rhino, like they jump on back of a rhino and they're like, "Oh, oh yeah." Wait, no, this yeah. reminds me of when we saw fight. I, I just remember I never seen Black Panther one. I was talking about Black Panther two. Oh, that was saw, pretty good. I like uh, Black, Black Panther two. Maybe it's because I haven't seen the first one, but Bulls I was tried, like, whatever. Yeah. Black Panther two is just it's like the I first thirty it. minutes is just oh. Michelle Obama, like a speech from Michelle Obama. <laughs> 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 Why? What's the context? Dude, all, so, I'll remember. So it's just because Chadwick Boseman is dead. He yeah. died yeah. before this movie came out, yeah. so like they had to like rework a lot of it. And I think that they um, handled that subject rather tastefully and spun it into just like a story of grieving generally yeah it was as tasteful so as it could have you been. know like i don't know i think it's a lot I was, more tasteful I was than Princess somebody who Leia. at the time was like grieving something in their life so i felt like for me it was like especially like cool yeah, yeah. to like see that movie i was like this is pretty tight but like that all i remember from it is uh really like fat gentleman in our row next to us and it, when when the when the like title when the when the map when the marvel like title thing came on he went like Yes. No, he did. Wakanda forever. He was like this. He was like Wakanda forever. And yeah. then, and then when, during the like funeral scene, he was like, "We will always remember you, Chadwick." No, he And didn't. then uh, ten minutes sad. later, he was asleep. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That's the best part. It's all about the facade. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. he's like, well, I got what I needed. Yeah, well, you're, when you're a heavy guy like that, and you're just sitting down, like you can't help but fall asleep. Your body needs to conserve energy. Dude, I saw yeah. Inside Out two today. Oh, okay. Inside. So how was Why? it? <sighs> I like Reasons. Inside Out one. Huh? I like yeah, Inside Out One. I've never good. seen it. I have children, and I don't watch any recent like Pixar movies. I thought it was actually pretty cute. Um, I think that like so in the first movie, right? She's like a girl. She's like a little girl, and she has like feelings and shit. And they like that's what it's about, right? Yeah. She like she's moving. I think that's the plot. Yeah, it's yeah. like she her moves processing to San Francisco. Movie. So in this movie, she does really. Yeah, oh, in wow. this movie, she's like trying out. She's starting high school, and her friends are going to a different high school, and. Uh, they introduced new characters in the form of emotions that are, I think are like age appropriate for the time. So I thought that was pretty cool that they like this movie, like now she has anxiety and now she has like boredom. Puberty she has or what? like, yeah. um, uh, emotion, envy, right? So I it's mean, like these like, new, more, more well, complex guess, yeah. the emotions, emotions that end yeah. up supplanting yeah, yeah, yeah. or trying to supplant the more like genuine, like primal ones, right? So it's kind of a metaphor for just how like stages of life can do that. Like yeah, things complicate, cool. like you getting in the way of things that like, or being in tune with your real emotions. That's hilarious. Well, they've been putting so, out a lot of trash. It was cool. So, I thought it was cute, nice. but it's also like a, a, a Pixar sequel, so it kind of sucks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a cute movie, yeah. but it just kind of sucks. Like it's just like not that interesting. I was getting kind of bored. There wasn't that funny. Like there wasn't, you could tell like when a movie's funny, right? And you're in theaters because people laugh, but like yeah. there wasn't as many pops. You can tell the movie was trying for pops, but there yeah, wasn't. Like, people uh, weren't. Yeah. They weren't like it wasn't clicking. So yeah, like, I mean Pixar, man, that is a that is a hard fall. I think it was yeah, a good. It, it's a good try though. I got a cute story that I think children can benefit from because that's just like I mean I don't know if they're gonna watch a movie, it might as well be something that's. Is like, it a hard cool. fall or is it just like it's just not as it's a natural it's, life it's, cycle? It's baby. just like we've seen that like it's not as new anymore. I like, say it's, it's a very. I think it's fall. actually bad. Well, yeah, no, say is, no. is Bugs Life actually that much better of a yes. movie than Inside Out One? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Inside Out One's still very. Well, good. I don't think anyone thinks Inside Out's Inside Out's a bad movie though. I think they they consider that part of the good ones. 
Okay, yeah. but yeah, that's fairly recent. That's like five years ago or something. Okay, but was pretty. What are the ones now? in recent memory that we've all skipped? Oh, really, at this point? Okay. Like, when did that album come out? Like 2014. Like that was pretty old, right? Is it? It's old, know. but it's not. Well, they, they haven't been crazy sequel. fucking old. They haven't been doing well <laughs> since. <laughs> ever since you could rent movies at home, those movies don't do well because, like, if you have like eight year olds, like, if you would you rather just 2015 rent in out Inside Out two and have your kids Let's watch go, it at maybe. home or like take them to the movie theater? Well, I'm not sure. It's nine years old. Inside Out's nine years old. Yeah, yeah think I'm about not saying the last you four are, but it's no, no, because like it's a big thing. Like, actually, you guys have been there for the couple times I brought. True, that's true. You actually respect like the movie theaters, and you would actually take your kids. Yeah, I would take. Yeah. But I would not go to a movie theater to see a movie for children. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm like, saying Pixar movies are not doing Yeah, well. so if like, it, but then I'm, I don't just put slop on for my kid. Like, if we're going to watch a movie, it's going to be good. The other day we watched. But re- well, re- you showed him episode one. Oh, yeah. It's true. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's not slop. Oh, a few exceptions. What would a child learn from that movie? Uh, about the Aquarians? Duh. <laughs> you know, but we did, a, I did throw on, because um, my son loves the movie Top Gun. Oh, uh, hell, cool. that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, so I threw, I threw that cool. movie on again yesterday. Dude, that movie's Oh, uh, no, sick. like a couple days because we had some time to kill. The original like, or the... Uh, the original. Like, Dad, I want to like, go for volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my well, God. Well, even the sequel's very good. <laughs> yeah, the sequel's good, but like Top Gun, dude, like the opening of that movie is so fucking cool. So badass, So bro. sick. Dude, and then the, the music yeah. drop, like I felt like I felt like I, like, became a man watching that for the first time like, i saw the so, first one i made the i saw it i like i rewatched i rewatched i didn't watch the first top gun until after the second one what yeah yeah sorry oh i made the mistake <laughs> yeah, of I watching like, i was like yo this shit's fucking sick i made the mistake sick, of, of watching top gun one being like i need to know this for the story and you get really like, in tune with your manhood in that opening scene dude just fucking jets taking off yeah, like badass like, rock <gasps> highway and all the like it's, it's not just the fighter pilot it's like all the folks like working on the flight deck they're all just like fucking high yeah, yeah, like, yeah yeah and they're all like doing dance yeah, like, yeah like, bro we're part of that yeah you're like, you're dude, like fuck they launch yeah. them out and it's like oh man the, the shots the, dude the first the first dude just Tony's, like ultimate shout American out, shout out Tony Scott Tony Scott is actually Ridley Scott's brother no yeah I wish uh, I didn't know this for the longest time but uh Tony Scott just like railing cocaine that dude like all of his movies are like that but like the very first Mm -hmm. shot where it introduces the fighter jet it's just like down 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 you're just like oh dude that movie is so fucking just straight high octane yeah it's but it's funny it's so it's so um male centric um that it is it is also the gayest movie i've ever seen in my life yeah (laughs) it's it's, i mean like dude val kilmer val kilmer was just too pretty to be in that movie like to be the antagonist he's too cute it's like bro you clearly want to Fuck Tom Cruise. Yeah, no. No, no, no. It's funny. The first time they, the first time they um, chat one. Okay, so the first time that like Val Kilmer and, um, yeah, the first time that Val Kilmer and Tom Cruise see each other, right? Like it's in the, no, it's, no, in the no, it's in the, it's in the, oh my God, no, it's in the classroom, right? And Tom Cruise keeps looking back like this. And he keeps seeing Val Kilmer look at him like, <laughs> you know what, and he that like, face he keeps like, looking back they yeah. both got like fuck me eyes and then no but like the other thing too is like his um i forget his name but um Iceman's like uh wingman like his oh, yeah, the guy yeah. who flies with him is like sitting like draped over him <laughs> like this like and uh at one point uh they're showing footage of like combat footage and then one guy turns to the other guy because like it's like they're showing footage of like jets fighting each other and he's just like i got a hard on no, he yeah, does. he does, oh and he's like, and like, uh, and the other guy's just like, <laughs> yeah, like, I do, and then like, so it's and Quentin Tarantino has like this theory. Have you heard this? Well, yeah, so, I love wait, it. So he he's like hard from the Jets. Yeah, he's hard from okay. like the Quentin Jets fighting. Quentin other. Tarantino thinks that Tom Cruise is about Tom Cruise being coming in, becoming in touch with his homosexuality. Basically. Yeah, <laughs> like and you know, dude, the more because like I've seen I've seen Top Gun, <laughs> I've seen the first Top Gun, like. More times than I've seen pretty much any other movie at this point because I, like that's how kids are. Like kids, like they yeah. love just like you find the movie you like. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I, like that. over the like last summer, I I probably watched it like seven or eight times, and like the more I see it, it's just like damn, this it really is the gayest movie you've ever seen. In your life. <laughs> so it's it's, it's, it's it's text too. It's not He-Man? even like it's He-Man's not even subtext. Gay. It is overtly He-Man homosexual. He man's gay. He man is gay. He man's gay. Tell us why he. No, why is he? Just think about the way he dresses, bro. What? And the power of Grace Cole and all the shit that he does. How's he dressed for the people that don't? Seen you just got to his like, what do you, whatever his shorts are, are, just a little too high. Wasn't he <laughs> on like he was on an Adult <laughs> Swim show that like they accused him of that? What show was that? He's on Adult I don't Swim. Know. Show? 
Oh, yeah, he was uh, on a Harvey Birdman Harvey. attorney yeah. at Law. Oh, he was? Oh, I, I started watching that recently. And that they show so you funny. clips of him doing, like, there's, like, yeah, I remember like, that so like, clearly. How about here? Dude, he's, like, wrestling like an ogre, but he's, like, humping yeah. him. But they just keep replaying, you know, they keep, like, boomeranging it, so it looks like he's, like, humping him. Yeah. And then, yeah so they, E-Man's pretty gay. Man, Adult Swim, man. The, 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 the perfect <laughs> example of that is, is a pilot of that show. <laughs> Where they do the same thing. Was, they aired like some of this shit, dude. Yeah. It awesome. They do the same thing on the pilot of that show where they do the, they do the same analysis of like Scooby Doo and they're like, you're <laughs> saying you aren't high? Check out this scene. And it's like Scooby and Shaggy with like smoke coming out of the room, like eating and like laughing and shit. They always eat like <laughs> sandwiches that are like, yeah, yeah. Really long. There's a bunch of scenes yeah, where it's, it's just like one going. And also maybe the talking dog thing's kind yeah. of a giveaway that they might be. His on name the, is yeah. Scooby. Doobie, <laughs> Do- <laughs> doobie. You ought to arrest my case. Yeah, you know, dude, it's pretty great too. Like, I love how they would make sandwiches by like shuffling them like a deck of cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then they'd have what always bothered me is they'd have the toothpick in there and then like eat it with the toothpick. Oh in yeah, it. I'd be like, bro, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, well, well, when, you're, when you're high off your yeah, ass. That's right, when line. the talking cat eats the sandwich with the toothpick in it. <laughs> yeah. It's like the 10 foot high sandwich. And the like, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't great. matter. You you know, like, um, I haven't shown my kids Scooby Doo, but my both my children love Tom and Jerry. Oh my go God. Mad. That show, those shows are really so much. They're so creative with how violent they cartoon are. Cartoon violence it's in those great. shows. Crazy. Yeah. It's so creative, though. It is. It's so yeah. fluid too because it's so it's hand drawn. Yeah. Oh man, those it's shows. Great. Are I'll beautiful. dude. I'll sit there and like because um, we try not to do it, but like sometimes it's like okay, like Sarah's busy. I have to go do something, so I like, here just like watch Tom and Jerry, and I'll, I'll come in and like dude, it's so beautifully animated. It's yeah, so funny. You, it's so vivacious. You can do a lot I worse love cartoons. Than Tom Slapstick. Yeah. Even as an adult, I don't. I don't care if it's a like man baby thing, but I just I still love cartoons. Like cartoons yeah, are so good. So good impressive. cartoons like that. Or, something yeah, okay. Good I, older cartoons. I don't know if this is like really. Uh, again, going with the autism angle here, but like thing about cartoons is you don't have to look at like another human being and yeah. like, <laughs> like, like when, when I look at another human being, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, and maybe this is just myself, but like my own and like, I'll compare them to me. My own insecurities might come up or something. Whereas a cartoon, it's just a fucking cartoon. I, there's nothing to compare it to in the real world. So I can just enjoy it. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's Mark, good. what are your, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Quick, uh, we already said Dragon Ball Z. That was really fun. I uh, I mean, all of those old cartoons, like you're saying, I've really enjoyed Tom and Jerry. I like Looney Tunes back in the day. I watched uh, Animaniacs was really good. That's a good show. Bro. I, I think Beast Wars was actually my favorite when I was a kid. I watched yeah, Beast, Beast Wars, Wars too. Oh, we were just yeah, talking Beast about Wars. That. Yeah, <laughs> you were saying that you used to watch Beast Wars with Kevin. Yeah, me and Kevin would just watch. Beast what is this? Wars. Beast Wars is a, a spinoff of Transformers. Yeah, where oh. they turn their animals. Their animals. Is that's like so WB. They also had the best like toys Fox. by far. That would be Animaniacs too. No, no, it was on the same. Channel the Animaniacs. You guys realize now that like like that type of programmer just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, right? oh, it's yeah. crazy, dude. It's no I mean, I don't know if it's a bad thing that now that kids aren't getting just like a stream of fucking ads uh, for as their Saturday mornings. But I mean, yeah. it's just different now. They use like, 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 yeah, like, no, but like because those same kids are uh, just like uh, like mainlining shit on YouTube. You know, yeah, I mean, and at least like, there was some Fire artistry or... behind some of those shows. Like there was some pretty cool. I just think it's cool that there was like really good ideas that were yeah. that got to be I mean, executed. Animaniacs right. is so fucking meta for a child show. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, that's one. I Pinky feel like that's a Warner Bros. Though, but I, yeah, I meant more just like sleeper hits, you know, like mm-hmm. Shaolin Showdown or something like Pinky that, or brain, like yeah. Mucha Lucha, like all these like I watched that too. shows that are just fucking. I, super I was cool. too poor to have cable television, so I couldn't <laughs> even grow up watching SpongeBob or Hey Arnold or any of that. Damn, you fucking suck. <laughs> I don't like what. Watch my, PBS. Watch yeah, Arthur? I had to watch fucking you watch, PBS. You watch the what's that fucking science show on there? And I said, hey. Hey, me and Sarah were just like <laughs> me and Sarah were just talking about Arthur because we were like, what's like what's, what's like a, a perfect uh, like a good family that was displayed on TV? Yeah, and like Arthur's yeah. family kind of gets up. Have there. you guys seen the series finale of Arthur? No, you can no. see it on YouTube if you want. Oh yeah, don't spoil it. Is it really sad? I want to watch it. No, that's pretty cool. I'll spoil it right now. Fuck. Do there's it. no fuck. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah come come on. Like, what? Like, 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 it's not Attack on. I Titan, brought it up. Man. It's too late now. Yeah, it's not yeah. Attack on Titan. The greatest fucking anime that has ever been made. Definitely not. That will ever be made ever. <laughs> by the way, Attack on Titan. Everyone who has not seen that show is living a worse off life. I guarantee you. Yeah, I came in pretty late, and I uh, can confirm it's the greatest fucking thing ever. I yeah. have not seen a Anyway, so Arthur ends because, uh, so the last episode there, 
they find this machine that tells your future, right? And they're trying to predict. It's like the same day that they're finishing school and they need to like the year of school and they need to like pick their career or something. Uh-huh. So they use this machine to like tell them what they're going to be. And they start thinking about the future, whatever. Arthur goes, has anxiety. He's like not worried. He doesn't know what he's going to be. He encounters the actual ar- author of Arthur, Mark Brown, in a library who gives him a book c- titled like How to Draw Aardvark. So he realizes that he likes drawing. Hmm. So then they flash forward to the future Aww. and everyone ends up being what the machine said they're going to be. So like one of them's like a politician, like, well, you know, whatever. And Arthur's <clears throat> like, a, he's an artist or he's like a, an author. And he's like, oh, I just finished my first book. It's about all of our stories that we've had together. Like, Aww. Aww. And it's the first Arthur book. And it's super cute. It's just Wait, like, but did the, machine, did the machine tell Arthur he was going to be something else? I don't yeah. think I don't I don't think you know. I think like oh, it breaks okay. before it tells him or something. So it's like a mystery. Then, and at the end of the episode they show that. Why like, didn't they use that machine Arthur. to like prevent 9-11 or anything? Like that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, the, oh I saw an Arthur meme the other day where it was uh it was just uh like a zookeeper or whatever was was like was visiting the kids at school and he was like holding like a panda or something, and the panda is just like, "Ain't all y'all animals too?" Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what the, the fuck. Well, that's not, what the, no, that's that was just like oh, yeah, the oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. Hey, dude, Arthur memes are so fucking funny, dude. Yeah. The, the Arthur fist meme that was. <laughs> that, that, I love that. Was I still sick. think about that to this day. Man, when they but when they when they put um, what's a bunny's name? Buster. Buster. When they put bu- when they gave him his spinoff show and put like real world shit in it, that fucked up my kid brain. I was like, "What the fuck it is going cheap. on?" Yeah, yeah uh, was postcards from Buster was yeah. A it was it was very like, disappointed. I, was like, I want to see like, cartoons, bro. It was like yeah, a children's yeah. version, version of like, I'm sorry, I'm nine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was like a children's vers- version of like I'm, that Anthony Bourdain show. Yeah, like Buster going <laughs> and then Buster killed. It was himself. apparently a yeah, thing. Buster. <laughs> 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 uh, Rest yeah. in peace, Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, you have forever yeah, inspired many pretentious. Uh, Food bloggers, quote unquote, on Instagram. Thanks a lot, asshole. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your, leg- dude, your legacy fucking. Your blow, legacy Gordon. has been tarnished by people who uh, just love themselves so much and uh, like letting everyone else know it. Count yeah. to suicide. Those yeah. who, yeah, dude, life that's, is that's, a book, and those been, who don't travel only experience one page. You ever get cucked so oh hard God. that you kill yourself? <laughs> wait, you got cucked? Wait, yeah, wait, yeah, he did by a younger kid. Wait, by like wait, an eighteen-year-old. What? Now. Wait, wait, hold on. We'll end with this, Mark. What? <laughs> I don't know much more than that he got cocked by it like an like a yeah his, his girl kid. Asia Argento who's a shitty actress by the way I don't like her acting I've seen her in several films wah, wah. and TVs the worst uh, aspect she, of she her. fucked like some eighteen year old <laughs> co star oh god yeah and then uh, what is she Jaden Smith yeah these hoes ain't loyal <laughs> no. uh, and then shortly thereafter. Uh, he killed himself. You know, I just learned Sad. recently that the lyrics of Hey Ya are about the um, the futility of romance. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> no, I didn't so, know that. so they are like, um, hey, yeah. um, love. Oh, what makes love the exception? <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Why are we in so denial when we know we're not happy here? Nah. And then he goes into the chorus saying, "Y'all don't want to hear me. You just want to dance." Uh, so it's kind of like a, a, like a cheeky, Chicky, like ironic Chicky. song about the futility of such Man, things. Man, I, I can't believe when that whole Jaden's not Jaden Smith, What's Jada Pinkett Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, Jada Pinkett yeah. Smith. Yeah. Jada Pinkett. It's very weird that you say that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Jada Pinkett. Jada, Jada Pinkett, 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 yeah. Smith, I can't believe the actress. fact She's that horrible. she like fucked her son's friend. Never came up with the whole slap thing. I think if you fuck your son's friend and you're like apparently married at the time, you can be made fun of for being bald. Yeah. Well, they also um, they also <laughs> have a, a famously open relationship. Gross. Yeah, but she kind of shoves it in his face. Yeah, Dude, no, it's, like, it's like every crying is so funny. It's an imbalance between every female, 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 female. Before we have to um, see if there's any show times for the latest Bad Boys movie. We've been wanting to see it. In oh, oh my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. I I see, was, we, well, this, the other, we get to see Will Smith post slap. Right? Uh, yeah, in the other on. week, the other Maybe week, Chris I have not, I have not seen any of the Bad Boy movies. I think I've seen. You know what I mean? Like right, right, right. Huh. I've seen them on like TV, and they're not bad. And I was thinking, like, I was so Good anti-watching. Boys. Yeah, I was so anti-watching <laughs> the the new one. And then I thought, like, well, if it's like the old ones, I'm sure it's fine. I don't know. Well, it's, it's not gonna be. 
So. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Get that idea out of your head. Uh, but this one was, but Same the, thing with Mission Impossible and Indiana Jones and fucking Star Wars. But and Bad Boys. Everything. Yeah, but and like, Space Jam and Donner and Blitzen. It's going to be everything, bro. <laughs> but okay. my, oh, my shout theory, out. By the way, I heard uh, a lot, of people, a lot, lot of people are real upset about the new um, the new Star Wars movie. The Power oh, of One. Oh, no, the Acolyte. Power of Two. The, the Power Acolyte. of Many. What is that? What is that? Well, yeah, there's, uh, they've in, the Acolyte is supposed to be like 100 years before Phantom Menace. And apparently... Um, they are. It is now canon that um, space lesbians use the force to get pregnant, and they have a séance to do it. Where they say that? Yeah. Where they say the power of one, the power of two, the power of many. That Wait, sounds like really? a first draft idea. If yeah, that everyone. sounds real. Stupid. Wait, so why why do they they do it to conceive a uh, child? They conceive two twins who are exactly the same, played by the exact same actress with the exact same haircut. And then everyone's wow. mad. Uh, oh, dude, it's so funny though because I've been going on YouTube channels that have like been making videos where they're mad about this, and I just keep commenting like, "Why do you care about this?" LOL. Like, just move on with your life. Like, why move are you? On. Like, dude, please have a different angle. For like, real. Like, people like, are really mad. They're like, dude, Disney woke, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh my gosh, shut the yeah. fuck up. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, no, like, even, no, no, but that's the thing. Like, even those guys have been like burnt out. They're played out. It's man. done. Yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong. That's now, even talking talking about Star Wars online is probably yeah. not even generating as many views You're as You're just as insufferable as a thing you're talking yeah. about this. Like, but I mean, like, yeah. there's, I mean, like, it's it's done, folks. Like, there's no, who the fuck is still watching these Star Wars shows? And if you hate woke, shit why are you still watching disney plus like, fucking yeah. catch your subscription and go read a book yeah and mm-hmm. fucking get read a, a goddamn another book one. Yeah. And, and like don't get me wrong that's insane they did that that's that's ridiculous what it the is fuck? really stupid it's, it's, it's very dumb to get genuinely mad about they're like oh it's they, like they, just they, they retconned it. like anakin's birth of like <laughs> oh, okay like i don't like so yeah, yeah. who yeah. Like, gives none a of this fuck means anything. dude what do you just <laughs> Guess what? Fucking Midichlorians got fucking Anakin's mom Dude, pregnant. I, I'm sure Leslie's gonna have kids. No, no, no. I, that's what I think now that this weird force thing is how they're gonna explain how Shmi Skywalker got pregnant without Shmi? having sex. Because some of these Shmi like is, is, is Anakin's mom. That's Anakin's mom. Damn, so like girl. some of these things are like yeah. they're like they're like um, disappointment. But some of these guys are still just so mad, and I'm, and they're typically guys. Yeah, two. Troy's yeah. into I Troy's really into the Mandalorian, so I'd watch that, and I tried showing him. We watched Book of Boba Fett, and he really liked it, but that show fucking sucks. Book of Boba Fett sucks so badly they had to bring the Mandalorian into the last few episodes. I, yeah, really. I tried to watch that awful. in the first episode. I saw the choreography fight, and I was like, "Yo, I can see this guy waiting." For him to do this move, and then he does this. Move. He's just I'm too done. fucking old, bro. Yeah, the choreography was so bad. Yeah, he's real old. It's real dumb. Also, I'm fucking sick of Tatooine, man. It's Dude, a shitty so desert oh planet. God. All these fucking things are taking we place. We gotta on bring Tatooine. it back to its origins. Yeah. Dude, I've been like actually in space in, Middle I go, East. Every now and then I get into <laughs> rabbit holes of Star Wars discourse, obviously, because I'm like up to date on the stupid ass Acolyte show that I've even fucking seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> but like, yeah. <laughs> I've been going into more like the sequel series and stuff too. And the more I think about it, the more I really do like episode eight, like the last Jedi with Luke and stuff. Yeah. It's pretty good. Nah. You know, speaking of Star Wars nah. content, you know what I watched? Um, I watched a four hour review of the Star Wars hotel that they tried to do. Me too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that girl. With Jenny Nicholson. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Dude, no? It was really funny. You're going to go? It's funny. No, no. They closed it's down. Ter- it's terrible. It's terrible. It's closed. It closed down. Oh. It's like a cool, like, I mean, I don't know. That video is, is, is really long. No, I, I hear, I hear like, the, so a lot of a lot. No, a lot I, of the I rooms, watched the whole thing. I like that girl. A lot of the I just rooms like don't have like windows and stuff. shit. Of, yeah. No, it's a, it's like supposed to be an interactive experience, but um, like the app that you're supposed to like be using to guide you wasn't working most of the time. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. Mark, um, would you like to bring this episode to a close with uh, some words to uh, some words of wisdom to our audience as they begin what, their weeks? If someone's mad about lesbians. Uh, getting pregnant with the force, what should they do to like de stress? Yeah, you should go into music production <laughs> <laughs> or do something creative yeah. because <laughs> all we ever do, well, we waste our time consuming a lot, and it's just so easy to continue to consume. But what really 
gives you a legacy or something to remember or to be proud of is when you create something, which is far tougher, but more fun and more rewarding. Yeah. So go do, go create something. Nice. I agree. I think wow, great. Everyone here great likes creating stuff. That's why we made a podcast. So we started this show. And we didn't know what the mm-hmm. fuck we were doing two months ago. And now look at us. We It's like a fucking just, we come here, we set up the mics, we record it. It's up two days yeah, later. And now like 20, and 23 fucking, people view each episode. And they episode. suck fuck just yeah, as much yeah, as they baby. did before. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, oh, I, well, thanks anyway, for coming, Mark. Mark. It's great to have you. Cool. Please come back Peace anytime. Out. We love you. Sweet. Bye. Good night. Good night. Man, I can't believe lesbians. I can't watch the show now. Just for the fuck of it. It seems real stupid.